Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. Today, we're back with part two of the Kyrie Irving um, Best Crossovers, Best Basketball Moves. Two years ago, we did the first version, part one. Um, it's our biggest video on our channel. Has over three million views. Players have been asking for part two, an updated version. So that's why I'm here today. Let's get into it. All right, so the first move we're gonna get into in this version, um, in the part two, is the up and under layup finish. Now, you guys know um, Kyrie's one of the best finishers in the NBA, one of the best finishing guards um, around the rim, not just guards, but players um, at finishing around the rim. The way he uses the rim in the English, um, the spin on the backboard is amazing. He finishes well with both hands. And yeah, he's pretty much unguardable off the dribble. So this makes him really hard to guard because he can beat his man whenever he wants. And then he gets to the rim and he has a, a whole variety of finishes. But his main finish that he does is this up and under finish. So. First, I'm going to talk about exactly how to do it. So how he disguises this move is because he's good with his left hand at finishing. So if you're a big man, you have to recognize that and you have to be ready for his left hand finish. So once he does his little thing and he gets by his man, he's going to the rim and then he's taking off like he's doing a left handed layup. And a lot of times the big men are going to try to pin this right here, going to try to block that, send that out the gym. And then he's quickly going under and then he's using that English to spin the ball and he can finish from a lot of different angles. So all you have to do in this move, it might seem difficult um, when you first get started, but just keep practicing and you'll get better, is you're coming up in the air and then you're reversing under. Now, if you're a beginner, what I would say is come here and then reverse before you jump off the ground because you have to be a little athletic and have a little bit of hang time if you want to actually jump and then do the reverse all in the air. But if you're small, if you're younger, if you're not as strong, you can still pull this move off by simply coming here and then reversing before you jump off the ground. So um, that's move number one. Add it to your game. Let's get into move number two. All right, so move number two, Kyrie. This is kind of an evolution off of his drop crossover. Um, I may have put this in the first, I may have put the drop cross in the first version, I maybe didn't. So um, basically what the drop cross is, is when you drop it here and you go. So what he likes to do here, is he likes to have a pick at the top of the key. He'll wait for it, he'll set up the pick. He'll use the pick, all right? Now, when he's in the lane, there's two things he can do. The first he can do is the drop cross, because remember, this is a big man that's coming to help. No way he can stay in front of Kyrie. So he comes and he'll either hit you with a drop cross and go towards the rim, and that's gonna set up this move, which is move number two, when he gets into kind of a drop cross, then an extended crossover. Then he gets in the lane, he'll finish with his left, or he'll do what we just um, talked about. He'll come, he'll cross here, He'll go up with his left, and then he'll go up and under. So that's the beauty. Once you learn these moves, you can start adding them together to become a much more powerful scorer. All right, move number three. I know you've probably seen this move, and this move actually went viral a while ago, like a few years ago when Kyrie was playing for the USA team, and he was breaking the full court press, and he was doing those double um, behind the back moves. Well, he uses this in the games as well, in the half court, and how he does this, is he likes to get ahead of steam. This is one of the things he does a lot, is he loves to kind of get that head of steam. So he'll go hard, like he's going hard. Now, if the defender tries to cut him off, what he likes to do, he'll go hard, and then he'll go quick behind the back. So this is one of my favorite moves that he does. Um, it works really, really well. So if, you go, if I go really slow, he's attacking hard, behind, and then quickly behind. So it's boom, and then quickly just like patting it back. And a lot of times what you're gonna find is defenders are gonna try to stop you real quick, and you'll be able to beat them that way towards the middle um, of the court. So that is one of his, another one of his favorite moves to do is that quick double behind the back move. So you'll see a lot like off of picks and stuff where he'll come, he might, there might be a pick this way, and he'll fake like he's gonna use it, then come back, get to the middle, but he loves doing that double behind the back move. Definitely a good move to add to your game. All right, now the fourth move we're getting into, this kind of plays off of that last move I just went over. So what happens is once he does this double behind the back move and he's used to beating his man, they're gonna to try to read that move, all right? So what they're gonna to try to do is when he comes behind, 
and behind, they're going to try to cut that off, try to beat him to that spot. So then what he's going to do is he pulls back and then he'll get the jump shot off. So this is another very potent move. His pullback is really clean, really quick. He has a very good pullback and he drops it on a lot of defenders. So um, one more time, what, what we're doing, same as move number three, where you're getting a quick head of steam, quick behind, and then you're pulling back and then you're getting into your shot. All right, now the next move, move number five, is a version of a spin move. Now in the first version of this Kyrie Irving's um, player breakdown, I broke down his spin move, which is nasty. You guys have seen he has one of the best spin moves in the game, how he keeps it tight. And one thing to remember with the spin move is when he does the spin, he's always spinning the ball back to him so he can keep it close to his body. So if I'm coming here and I spin tight, I'm spinning that ball back right back to me so the ball stays close to my body, stays within control. Um, if it gets too far out, like if it comes out here, the defender can swipe it. So that's the reason we keep it close. Now, he's kind of evolved that move. In the video, I did that move off of like transition attacking the rim. He, he also does that move out of the triple threat. So what he likes to do is he'll catch the ball, especially if his defender's running at him. He'll maybe jab, and then he'll go this way, so he might catch. He, he, he could do it either way, but let's just say he jabs and his defender bites, or maybe he just catches it, and then he just goes quick, and then he'll hit you with that quick spin, and then he pulls up at about the elbow. So this is another great shot, I mean, great move to get a good high percentage mid-range shot right by the foul line. And if you notice something with all these moves, they're quick. Like people know Kyrie for his handles, but all these moves are extremely effective because there's not a lot of playing around with the basketball. So literally, I'm here, I'm here, here he helps. I'm spinning back, getting to the elbow, and hitting the jump shot. All right, and the last move I'm going to get into, of course, I had to put this in. This is the game winner he hit last year in game seven over Stephen Curry. This is the move that he used to hit that. So what he did, he loves... Surprisingly, like a lot of right-handed players love shooting the ball off the left hand. Kyrie is a little opposite, and I think it's more effective because a lot of defenders aren't used to right-handed players pulling off that right hand. And in the first video, I talked about his pull-up, how he does the right, the right hesitation pull-up, whereas most right-handed players do the left hesitation pull-up. Kyrie likes to pull up with his right hand. Same goes for this um, little sidestep. Most right-handed players like to kind of take that to the left. Kyrie hit the shot over um, Steph by stepping to the right. So um, this is just a simple side step where he, he dribbles and takes that side step at the same time. It's kind of like a Damian Lillard type of step back. Um, but again, it's extremely effective. The only thing about this move is it's kind of tough to um, get your shot off, to keep your shot um, it's, it's hard to get that power because you're a lot of times you're falling back and you're off balance But when used properly, I mean you can literally get your shot whenever you want. So add this move as well I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helped you out. If it did and you want a free scoring workout um, that's gonna take your game to the next level, I got one for you, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is click this button right here. Um, that's gonna take you to a page. I'm pretty much just gonna ask you for your email. You put in your email and then I'm instantly gonna send you over that workout. 
Um, if you're on any mobile device, your tablet, your iPhone, that button's not going to work for you. That's completely fine. Just go to that first link in the description, freaktraining.com slash free workout. Click that link. It'll take you to that same page um, where you'll put in your email and I'll send you over the workout. It works on your phone, um, tablet, anywhere you have internet access, you'll be able to access your workout. You'll be able to take it to the gym with you. You'll be able to get to work. But yeah, um, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like it for me. Um, show me some love on the channel. I love basketball TV. Comment below. Let me know what else you want to see. Player move breakdowns, vertical jump training anything you know you know i got you as always please be sure to subscribe to i love basketball tv so that you never miss another video we're keeping videos coming weekly um that's going to get you better that's going to take your game to the next level but until next time i'm out